What's up, world? It's your boy G Shump. You know, everybody's favorite baby daddy. What's the street, man? And today we in Chicago, baby. Again. So we're talking about uh, Lil Kevo, y'all. For y'all who don't know, Lil Kevo is the guy who just uh, released the BDK freestyle, y'all. They say this is the second one he did because this is part two, they say. So he did another one a while back. You know, ain't nothing happened to him, and uh, these guys like to play like that in Chicago and do shit. But, you know, the names he just mentioned, y'all, they so fresh that people still hurt. So he could have got killed for that or it could have been something else. You never know when it comes to Chicago. Uh, whoever was out there that day when them guys turned their corner would have got hit. It don't necessarily mean it just was him. They say he was walking his mother to the bus stop or something, you know. And uh, you guys got to take your lives more serious. Uh, and you got to pay attention when you dissing somebody of that caliber and people with that much money. You need to be really paying attention. You know, a lot of times people be thinking, oh, I'm just in the hood. He don't think he ever will run into the dirt or nobody that he thinks should try to get at him. But you got to realize these guys is connected for real. So they ain't got to run into you. It's a bunch of other motherfuckers. You know, you just the whole old block and all them niggas. And they just, they even probably know what block you from. I put a little snippet in the beginning of this video. Y'all see, uh, the first thing he said is, man, fuck BD, BDK, man. I'm outside every day, all day. So a nigga turned that corner. To see if he was out there. And guess what? He was out there. Now, whether it was for the song or not, nobody really know. But the fact they turned the corner and seen Tim and got on his ass, hey, that's just how shit go when it comes to banking. I sent another YouTuber say, oh, that's the life of a game banker. And you live and you die. Yeah, to a certain extent. But not really, you know, because if it wasn't nothing going on, a lot of niggas be around and don't nothing never happen to them. Some niggas know how to walk through the streets and uh, stay out of a lot of trouble. But then some niggas always stirring up trouble too. And them ones get hit. Or if you a shooter, the motherfucker trying to get at you or whatever. But I tell you one thing, y'all. The people that's really doing the dirt. And they're really out here slanging that iron and shit. You ain't going to catch them when you turn the corner trying to just see what's out. Them the ones ain't out there. It be the motherfuckers who really ain't on too much of shit that's out there. Not to say Kevo just wasn't on nothing. Because he was doing something. They say he was walking his mother to the bus stop. But you making this videos and talking about how much money you got. Your mama should have had a car or you should have had a car. What the fuck you walking up to the bus stop for? Well, I know why, but, you know, he, I, I see him flashing money. And even in the last video, he just did the, uh, what was that, the last live. He's showing this little knot like how much money he got. And then you get caught lacking because you invited everybody to come see you. With that song, you invited everybody to come see you. We outside every day, all day, nigga. Fuck the option. Woo. And then y'all see him in the video, y'all. He got a hundred motherfuckers. And they got guns and all that shit. But this is what make me mad about a lot of them videos. Yeah. They got all these guns and shit in the video and everything. And then when a the nigga spin on them, they ain't got nothing. They ain't got no pistols. Ain't nobody shooting back. Ain't none of that shit. 
That's why I say, man, stop playing so fucking much. If you ain't built like that or was not really ready for that shit, you shouldn't even be doing it. And even if you want to make that video, you shouldn't have been in Chicago where a nigga can catch up with you, really. They said the boy made the song last week, and they just called him up this week. So the song been up about a week, they say. I heard another YouTuber say it was just at 5,000 5, views. So basically, you angered 5,000 people before motherfucker actually came to sing to. It hadn't even got all the way big yet. See, everybody talking about uh, it was retaliation for this and that. Y'all don't even know if Dirk or any of them guys from Oak Block even seen that shit. Everybody who wanted to see it probably was a G. You know, then, you know, other people, they mentioning uh, Ruger's song, or Ruger this, but Ruger is up and out the way. He ain't where he can be touched at, and Ruger ain't this nobody in his song. He just said, they didn't let the GDs in the dope. That's a good anthem for them, you know, just to motivate the guys. He wasn't dissing the dead or nothing like that, so that ain't even the same thing. They're in the same mob, but it ain't the same comparison. See, Ruger have been around enough. He done lost a few guys, man. And he realized that this and the dead, that, that shit ain't nothing. You know, the last song Duck had did, people assumed that's what got him killed. But they had been doing that shit. They had been doing that. You know. But, man, shit, it's a whole lot different these days. The drill scene from how it was back then ain't how it is now. You know, it ain't how it is now. People are getting this music way quicker, and they be on your ass before you even realize they on your ass. You feel me? That's why I be saying, hey, if you ain't about that shit, and you ain't out here in these streets, don't rush to get out here. I don't care if I only get to one little shorty and he listen, and he take heed to it, then hey, then I feel satisfied. Because I done went through these streets all my damn life and don't feel like I done accomplished shit. With all this gang banging and eye slanging we done did, it's still ops over here and still ops over there. And we like, damn, I thought we didn't clean up the motherfucking neighborhood. No. You ain't gonna never clean up the whole neighborhood. No matter how many motherfuckers you sweep, the neighborhood still gonna be divided. And I really used to believe that shit, thinking we could take over the motherfucking city. I really believe that shit. This shit ain't gonna happen, y'all. Might as well get that shit out your head. You feel me? It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody's favorite baby daddy, voice of the street, man. Watch y'all to like, subscribe, and share this video, man. I really don't got too much to say about this one, y'all. You know that ain't been said. I'm watching all these other bloggers, and I'm like, hey, they running with it. But I will say this. Although it could be that's what got him killed, we don't know for sure. Nobody really knows for sure. He could have just got killed because it was his time. I won't say his time. He got caught when them niggas was spinning. That's what I mean. When the motherfucker spinning on the block and you plug. Whoever out there is go get it. So if it would have been anybody else when they turned that corner that day, they would have got it. It just so happened to be him, y'all. You feel me? So it's been a rough week for Chicago, y'all. They just killed the boy, y'all know I did the last video. And you know they killed KTS Dre. You know, Kill to Survive. That's the name of this clip, Kill to Survive. They killed him coming out of the goddamn county jail, y'all. That should let you know how serious it is. They killed him coming out of the county jail. Now they just caught this boy over here in Inglewood. Slid up on him in Inglewood. And the streets been up, y'all. It ain't just because of the rappers and all that. This shit been up. And every time a motherfucker gets shot, y'all, it's a retaliation for that. It's always a retaliation for that. So 
the boy who just got killed for the song we talking about. Shit, it could have been retaliation for something else. It don't necessarily mean it was because of the song. It could have been anything. If his set had put in work or did anything like that, he just was a motherfucker that got caught. Because a lot of the real niggas and a lot of smarter guys they ain't just out there. You know, niggas know how to stay out of trouble, man. You don't risk your life for no motherfucking cigarette, for no damn blunt shit like that. You're supposed to have people to run and do shit for you. When you go out, you're supposed to be on defense. You're supposed to have that motherfucker on you and be looking around, especially if you just made a song like that. You know, people underestimate motherfuckers. He really probably didn't think the song would get that big, y'all. He probably really didn't. But it got big enough to get him killed. If we think that's what it is. You feel me? Somebody else said it could be just the gang lifestyle that got him killed. True that. It could be that too. But you would never know. It's your boy G-Shrimp. Everybody favorite baby daddy. What's the street? I'm out. Yo, 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 yo. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, I'm out.